have a better appreciation for the work that they do. It's another proud day for Long Island Railroad. It's another proud day for the third track mainline expansion project. We're roughly four hours ahead of where we're hoping to be at this point. A lot of planning, uh, a lot of thought going into how this is going to be done, and the contract to really outperform. It's one thing for us to have these meetings at town hall and even on site and to talk about what's going to happen and what's happening, but to actually see it in motion, to see the dedication of the workers that were out there all day long. It was a really hot day that day. Here we are at Urban Avenue in Westbury, and it's the first of seven grade crossing eliminations that I'm proud to say is on schedule. The weekend work is on schedule, the project is on schedule, and this whole grade crossing elimination is, is one of the key components of the project. Already, because there's no grade crossing here, for cars to cross, the trains don't have to hit their horns when they come by here, so it's already quieter. The accidents will be gone. The, the trucks won't hit the bridges anymore. We won't lose lives like we did at Mineola. Add to that, we're, traffic is going to move quicker. We've got 45% more capacity to run trains once this is all over. It's going to be a huge change, both locally and essentially globally for Long Island. Uh, we've had 200 guys here. I call it dancing among each other, interacting, the machines, the equipment's been moving in and out. It's been working like clockwork. I think it's phenomenal. On Long Island, we rely on the Long Island Railroad to get back and forth either to the East End or going west to New York City. New infrastructure here that supports the local community, supports Long Island. That is the future of Long Island Railroad. We are a major part of making Long Island Railroad and Long Island successful.